Hi, it's Candy for Mosaic Moments, and today I want to show you a page that I did using one of their new dies. It's called um, the Photo and Matte Herringbone Borders, and I want to show you what I made with it. I did this page um, showcasing some of my cousin's birds. They're her babies, um, but I used the herringbone border as a decorative element rather than as a photo mat on this page and I wove ribbon through it which I think gives it a unique pattern um, it looks quite a bit different when you run ribbon through it it changes the whole look of the border from this very geometric modern look to something a little more traditional with a simple triangle so I want to show you how easy that is to do so we're going to get all our things together. We're going to get out the Big Shot and our cutting mats. And this is the longer of the two of the herringbone border dies. And then a piece of cardstock. So we're going to make our sandwich and then we're going to crank it through the machine. Then we're going to remove the border and can set all this aside. Look at how easily all the pieces fell out. And there's our border. Now this can be used under a photo, around a page. There's a whole bunch of uses for it. But we are going to weave it with a little bit of ribbon. So I grabbed some ribbon and what I'm going to do is start here and I'm going to pull it, just tuck it through here, and I'm going to pull it almost all the way through so that I don't have to keep pulling the ribbon as I go. And then you can hold that in place or you can put a little bit of adhesive on the back there and then take the end and we're going to tuck it through the next one. I have a knack for twisting ribbon so we're going to get it nice and straight like that and then we're going to weave back up through the next one. Now depending on what size ribbon you use, it's going to depend on how much coverage you get of that border. So if you're using a thinner ribbon or some twine, you're going to see more of the herringbone pattern. And if you're using a wider ribbon like this, you're going to see more of a triangular pattern as you complete it. So this is just going to go across like this and you're just gonna keep going in that same motion all the way across and it really changes the look which is really cool because it gives you two totally different looks out of one die and I'm always about finding more uses out of a single die because it saves you money and then you can buy more dies and more paper and have more fun scrapbooking have a great day